and we are back. My name is Jonathan Ash. I am filling in here as a guest speaker for Alan Todd Boyd. And today uh, is June fifteenth. Uh, morning reading. Um, Nehemiah, chapter one. Nehemiah learns of his brethren's uh, distress. The words of Nehemiah, son of Hakali. And it came to pass in the month of Chislu, in the, the twentieth year. And I was in Shuthan Palace, the palace, in Shuthan, the palace, that Hannah, one of my brethren, came. He and certain men of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of captivity, of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And and they came, said unto me, the the remnant that are left of the cap captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reapproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. And it came to pass when I heard these words. That I, that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed for, before the God of heaven and said, I beseech thee, O Lord, Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God that keepeth covenant and mercy for, for them that love him and observe his commandments, let thy let thine ear now be attentive, and thine eyes open, and thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before thee now, day and night, for the children of Israel and thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee, both and I, my father's house, have sinned. We have dealt very cor corruptly against thee, and have not kept the commandments, not, nor their statutes, nor their ju the judgments, which thou commandest thy servant, thy servant Moses. Remember, I beseech thee, the word, the word that thou commandest thy servants Moses, saying, If ye transgresses, I will scatter you abroad among the nations, but if ye turn unto me, and keep my commandments, and do them, thou there were of you cast out unto uttermost part of, of the heaven, yet will I gather them from thence, and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Now these are the, thy servants and thy people, whom ha, that hast redeemed by that, thy great power and by thy strong hand. O Lord, beseech, I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant and to thine prayer of thy servants, whose desire to, to fear thy name and prosper, I pray thee, Thy, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of, of this man, for I was the king cup bearer, king's cup bearer, in the word of the Lord.